Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your general read for June 2024. As always, this is general, so it's not necessarily going to resonate for every single one of you. Okay, they could only resonate in bits and pieces here and there. Or it could be more predictive in nature, they do tend to be. So it might not resonate for you straight away. Okay, only take the messages that are yours and you leave what isn't yours for someone else. And as always, these readings, they're good for anywhere where you have Capricorn in your chart. OK, right. So your first message out is the crown, recognition, authority and pride. OK. Um, yeah, I do feel that you're going to be recognized here for something Capricorn. OK, quite possibly a promotion it could be or maybe someone's just really able to see you okay so if you felt like you weren't really seen or weren't really heard then this energy is saying that yeah someone sees you uh, it's also a message about sovereignty okay knowing your own mind as well um, maybe being put in a position of some kind of authority okay it's followed on with the horseshoe which is good luck peace contentment um good fortune and then the dagger protection justice and assertion so yeah um i am seeing this and they're, they're all from the same deck as well it's a combination of lots of different decks this one um huh justice Justice is working in your favor. Justice is being served. That there's a good result here for you, pertaining to justice that that you've been needing, that you've been waiting for as well. With the black dog being the energy at the bottom of the deck, that can indicate a depression. Okay. It's a grim. It acts as a warning. Maybe maybe you're needing to up your levels of protection. Maybe you have been. Okay, well, obviously, we'll find out more when we pull more cards, okay? Just right now, I don't have enough information to go off it. So we're going to pull more cards and see what's going on here. I'll show you the deck as well, just in case anyone has got any funny ideas in their heads it is a full deck okay i just can't shuffle that deck in its entirety um okay what's going on here the bag something important such as a new job or a raise yeah yeah capricorn you're being recognized that pay rise that promotion being put in a position of authority, a position of power, being put in charge of something here and being paid for it as well. The battle in reverse, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. It's in reverse. Yeah, so everything that you felt was lacking in your life, Capricorn, you're going to be receiving throughout the month of June. And I feel for, obviously not for all of you, but for the vast majority, finances has been a huge problem, a huge problem. You can be able to put your financial worries and concerns behind you here. And yes, of course, there is a lot of personal growth, which you've had to go through first to get to this point here. Uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo also because they had the horseshoe energy. Uh, they've got good luck and good fortune working in their favor also. So you could be you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. Okay, the club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will, but they're not going to succeed because it's to clarify the dagger. So someone someone's trying to get you to do something their way. It feels like they're offering you some kind of ultimatum here, but they're, they're going to be unsuccessful because you're being protected at this point in time, as well as you're protecting yourself. It's like you're on the ball. Um, some, someone's trying to pull the wool over your eyes here with something Capricorn, and it's just not going to wash. I do see you being very assertive when it comes down to that person and doing it in a way that's very direct as well. 
okay so it's like you're not taking any shit this month off of anybody not not even remotely you you're just not even going to go there with them Again, we'll find out more when we start pulling more cards. And then you've got the lightning. That's also off balance. Control your anger. Like literally right there. Control your anger. Or you'll be soddy with a black dog. A warning. A warning for you to control your anger. Temper your temper. <laughs> um, yeah. Your skills in stoicism is going to be put to the absolute test this month, Capricorn. Again, we'll find out more. Okay, we need to clarify all this. Uh, can you clarify the crown for Capricorn, please? Clarify the crown for Capricorn. This is kind of like taking the good with the bad at the moment. Clarify the crown for Capricorn. Thank you. The six of coins in reverse. Okay. In reverse, that's unfairness. In reverse, that's someone who was abusing their, their power, their authority. It, it's like... Somebody being generous only to see what they themselves could get out of the situation. You know, like six of coins in reverse always reminds me of people who um, give to the poor, but they have to put it everywhere on social media. That's six of coins reverse for me. It, it's someone who can't just do something for the sake of being a decent human being, but they have to make a big show and dance it at the same time. I'm not saying that that's what you're doing, Capricorn. I'm saying someone's doing that. Someone around you is doing that. Like someone who is not genuinely a nice person, but is only nice when the cameras are rolling or when someone else is watching, you know. It's fake. It's really, really fake. And it, it's all, it's also the, the energy of someone trying to uh, take from you as well. Taking their unfair share. It's inequality, basically. Magician. It's under there, the Seven of Cups. Okay. That's unfulfilled promises. Someone's broken their promise or they're about to break their promise here, Capricorn. What's the magician? What's the magician for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Strength. Okay. Your strength is being tested here, Capricorn. Your resolve is being tested. It's like somebody is in a position of power. They've definitely been abusing their position of power. So they're losing that metaphorical crown. It's like the crown's being knocked off their head. And it feels like it's happening in quite a public manner. And then you get that position. Do you know what I mean? That's how this energy feels. And I th I'm certain that that's why Spirit was saying over here, Capricorn, the main thing you need to focus on right now is practicing that stoicism of yours. Don't let this person upset you. Don't let them rile you. Okay? Keep your cool keep your anger in check don't let them know that they've gotten a rise out of you okay i feel that this energy has been going on for a while but th this individual's losing their job they're losing their position of authority they're losing their crown and then the crown goes to you it's a metaphor this person's definitely going to be out on their arse. 
And in the meanwhile, your own strength, your own resolve is being tested because you have to put up with this bullshit in the meantime. You have to put up with this bullshit. And they're saying you're not going to be putting up with it for much longer. That's why you need to keep your cool. Okay. You need to keep your cool. This is not a nice energy. This is not a nice person. This is someone who likes to manipulate how other people see them. As I said. It, it's someone who is only kind and generous when other people are watching them. Or, or when they can publish it somewhere. Do you know what I mean? It's not a nice person at all. Okay. Can you tell us about the, the bag? Capricorn, please. Yeah, Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords. Someone's watching you, Capricorn. Someone's watching to see how you respond under pressure. I feel, I've, I'm feeling that as a third energy. So if this is going on within a work situation, Capricorn, then there's someone like really high up who is watching all of their, what, what, what would be their subordinates, okay? Um, they're aware of everything that's going on. They're watching everything that's going on and they're getting ready to fire that person. And that, that third energy, the one who's watching everyone, um, they're watching you as well. I would say with this energy, Capricorn, that you're definitely going to be offered first refusal for a promotion. You're taking someone's place here. So do keep that in mind next time this person winds you up. Do keep in mind that someone higher up is watching you. Okay. Every, everything does stand a good chance of working out really, really well for you here, Capricorn. As long as you play your cards right. That's what they're saying. As long as you play your cards right. Okay. Because your, your Nine of Cups is an energy that is full of joy, happiness, optimism. You know, it's um, wish fulfillment. It's content, fe feeling content, feeling satisfied also. Nine of Cups, literally, it's the card of plenty. The card of abundance. I mean, see, see how he has got more cups than what he could ever, ever need. This, this person who's got more than what they could ever need is wanting to offer you some of these metaphorical cups. That, that's why I feel that this is going on within someone's career. Hmm. And it is to clarify the bag. Someone's, it, it's like they're saying that this boss person's got more money than they could ever, ever need. And they're wanting to take you on board. It's like that they're, they're wanting for you to be beside them. They, they see you as an equal because they're, they're witnessing all of this that's going on. And they're watching how, how you're handling that really awful, difficult person. So it's kind of like CEO energy here. And then you've got like manager or manageress here. And then this manager or manageress is putting you through the ringer. Whereas the CEO is like, do you know what? That manager or manageress, I don't fucking like them. They can go. And guess what, Capricorn? You can take their place. You're much better suited for that job. You're a much nicer person for a start, you know. But again, that could be a metaphor, okay? It could be a metaphor. I've ju I just have to describe the energy as best I can. Okay, can you clarify the horseshoe, please? Thank you. Nine of Wands. Yeah, stand your ground. Stand your ground, okay? 
it's like <laughs> have you ever seen <laughs> have you ever seen Braveheart? Not a very good movie. It's not historically accurate either. However, the fight scene <laughs> where he's going, hold, hold, right? That's nine of wands. <laughs> okay, you, you got to hold, hold your position, Capricorn. <laughs> Can you clarify the battle in reverse, please? Thank you. Something's lacking. Four of coins reversed. Something's lacking. Four of coins reversed can be like a lack of originality, but again, it can also be a, a lack of, are they saying opportunity? Lack of opportunity. So you're finally getting the opportunity to prove yourself to these people that you're better suited to that position. Okay. Okay, can you tell us more, please, for Capricorn for the Four of Coins reversed? Another four. The Four of Swords in the upright position. Restoration. Take time to recharge. Recharge your batteries here, Capricorn. You're going to need all of the strength and energy that, that you can muster, okay? Th this is the quiet before the storm, Capricorn. That's what this is. Okay. Use this quiet opportunity for you to um, really gather yourself. All right, because your four of swords is rest, rejuvenate, reevaluate, reconsider, meditate, uh, pause, reflect. Okay. Spirit's wanting for you to take some time out. Enjoy the quiet. Enjoy the peace and quiet while it lasts. Because everything's about to change up for you here. You're about to be incredibly busy. Okay? So where you felt that you were lacking in opportunities, you're going to have more opportunities here than you're going to know what to do with. Okay? If, if you can just hold... Hold for a little bit. Don't lose your shit. Don't lose your temper. Clarify the dagger. Dagger, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. Page of Cups off balance. Okay. A faux apology then. A faux apology. Okay. Um. Hmm. Again, it's it's someone acting all sweetness and light and. I'm getting smarmy. Do you know what I mean? I'm getting really, really smarmy energy off that. It's like this individual here who's been a nasty little bullying shit is apologizing to you, but they're smarmy as fuck about it. Do you know what I mean? It feels dirty. It feels really, really dirty. Do not let your emotions get in the way here, Capricorn. Okay, that this is someone being really wishy-washy, really pathetic, really selfish, and it's coming from a person who is uh, quite flouncy, as in very, very stroppy. You know, whenever they're in a bad mood, they have to slam every door, they have to slam every cupboard, and everyone has to know how much of a bad mood this person's in, yeah? That's the character that this is coming from. It is icky. Like, really, really icky. Um, Capricorn, there's advice that's coming through here. Spirit's saying, the best way to play this is to act naive, act innocent. Okay? So, see when this apology comes in, just go... Okay, thanks. And then carry on doing whatever you're doing. All right? Play it naive. Because the main way that this person's going to screw up is by misjudging you. So if you give them that response that they're not expecting... You're going to throw them for six. And they're not going to know what to do with it. Do you know what I mean? 
Hmm, it's weird. You can tell us. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask about the club. How someone's trying to make you do something against your will. It could also be as well that someone's trying to force you to apologize to them for something that you didn't do. Okay. So, again, act sweet, innocent, and naive. Okay. I know it sounds like a really strange thing to say, but it's page of cups off balance to clarify the dagger. It's kind of like shit eating grin, you know. And then the eight of coins to clarify the club, where someone's trying to make you do something against your will. It's happening within a work situation. Or it's something to do with your career, that how, how you provide for yourself and how you provide for your family. That's the area where this is all taking place. It's like some this person was deliberately giving you or will be deliberately giving you all of the shitty jobs. Because look what it's clarifying, okay? So even though you know their reasons behind doing that to you, do that with a smile on your face. It's going to irk them. It's going to confuse them, okay? And it's temporary as well. Really, really temporary. You can clarify the black dog, please. This warning, thank you. Page of Wands, off balance. They're trying to push you out. Guys, Capricorn, they're trying to push you out. Page of Wands, off balance. This one knows that you're a direct threat to their financial security. They're picking on you this way because they're trying to push you out. They're trying to get you to quit. They're trying to get you to leave off your own volition. Okay, because they've been trying to get rid of you for a while and they're not able to. Okay, that's why they're doing this. They're trying to push you out. So it's vital that you hold your ground because there's going to be a sweet, sweet surprise that happens. You can clarify the lightning, please, Capricorn. Two of Swords, yeah. Listen to your inner voice when making choices. Uh-huh. So your inner dialogue is going to be super, super important, okay? Um, th this is also about your strength and your resolve through suffering, okay? Peace is going to be restored, this stalemate that's going on right now is is a question of who blinks first, them or you. They're trying to force you to blink, as it were, first. And that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Wow. Okay. Yeah, look, ten of coins at the bottom of the deck. That's what you're working for. That's what you're fighting for. Ten of coins. That's your home, your family, your future, your stability, your security. It's, it's your, your family. It, it's your future prosperity. There, there's an increase in your lifestyle here with the Ten of Coins. It literally, it's one of the Apex cards, okay, Capricorn? So remembering these struggles are temporary. And don't you dare have this person force you out, okay? Because it literally is who's going to blink first. They're, they're trying to force your hand tr by trying to force you out. And if you hold on, if you hold on, their job is yours, okay? Ten of coins, literally, abundance, wealth. Financial success, personal success. Interesting. Really, really interesting read there, Capricorn. And again, it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. Oh, now who had that? 
think it was Taurus. Taurus had this one out. It's the pool of moonlight reflection. Like literally, uh, four of swords energy. Okay, it says the full moon shines on a sacred pool as a priestess gazes within its depths, searching for understanding and inspiration. The quiet beauty of moonlight on water provides a mirror of the soul, seeing yourself as a beloved child of the moon goddess. Messages can be divined from the watery depths, brought forth from the underworld and illuminated by celestial light. Meaning, this is not the time for action, but rather for contemplation. Stop and think things through. Solitude is important now. Tune in out the influences of others so that you can search your own soul. Keywords are peace, contemplation and understanding. Yeah, so now that you understand a little bit more of why this person is specifically targeting you, you know exactly now how to play the game right? Positive affirmation, I am in tune with divine inspiration and your challenge is what does the moon want you to know? Okay, uh, what does the moon want you to know? So maybe you start looking into working with the cycles of the moon, that sort of thing. That could also be a metaphor for your higher self, your subconscious, okay? Um, now is not a time for action and definitely Definitely don't take action out of anger or frustration, okay? That's, that would be playing into their hands. Interesting, really, really interesting. Okay, so we're going to conclude your reading with a card from the shitty deck. <laughs> if the name of the deck didn't give it away, then I do have to say... But if you're allergic to swearing or sarcasm, then you don't have to listen, okay? It's just a bit of fun at the end of the read, just to help uplift the energies. Because laughter is an incredibly high vibration, right? So you've got, if you can speak... <laughs> oh my god, it's this one. If you can speak three languages, profanity, sarcasm and real shit, then you can literally speak to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. If you want to be iconic and legendary, you shouldn't focus on shit and be around people who just talk shit and stir up shit. Yep. I do really seriously suspect that the shit is getting dealt with on your behalf, Capricorn, and the only thing you have to do here is keep your cool. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone. If you feel that you're needing a private reading, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Don't forget to go check out all of your other signs and the daily reads as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.